For me, a perfectly ripe peach is the flavor of summer. So let's make a peach martini. Just four fruity ingredients is all it takes to make this refreshing cocktail. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. On this channel, we teach you all about celebrating. We share recipes for food, hors d'oeuvres, cocktails, and we share entertaining tips too. Now we try and keep everything as simple as possible, especially for those of you out there who say that you just can't cook or entertain because we know you really can. So if you like this episode, hit the subscribe button hit the like button, and hit that notification bell, and you'll get a new episode every single week. Now, you're probably wondering, where are we? Those of you who are new to the channel, we're not in our kitchen at home. We are in our little hidden hideaway in the mountains of upstate Pennsylvania. So we're outside. So bear with us. There may be a gust of wind, a barking dog, a golf cart driving by, but we'll get through it. So why are we here? Well, it's nice weather. Summer's just around the corner, which means it's really time to celebrate. And what better way to start a celebration than with a cocktail? Today, we're going to make a peach martini. Now, this recipe comes from our dear friends here and our little campground, uh, Mark and Steph, and they have a peach party every year where they serve this martini, and then everyone brings food with peaches in it somehow, and it's really interesting what people come up with. But I want to share this cocktail with you. So let's get started. Super, super simple cocktail. Just a few ingredients. A good martini, we're starting with vodka. Peach flavored vodka, actually. Now, you can get different types, different brands, whatever you like. This is the kind I like. It's, to me, the most peachy, one that we have out there. So that's what I'm using today. I'm using one ounce or 30 mils of peach flavored vodka right in. Next, cranberry juice. Now this is 100% juice. This is not the cranberry cocktail. This is 100% cranberry juice. Again, one ounce, same amount, 30 mils right in. Next is orange juice. No pulp. Whatever brand you like that you can get, make sure it's no pulp. It's very important. Again, exact same amount, one ounce or 30 mils. Right in. Sure is pretty and summery looking so far. Now, next to give it just a little extra boost of peachiness, we're using peach nectar. Half an ounce, which is 15 mils. Right in. Really doesn't get much easier. Now, for our favorite part, the shaky shaky. Here we go. All right. Hmm. Wow. Wish you could smell this. Now, how do we serve a martini? In a chilled martini glass. So here we have. Martini glass, a great way to chill them if you don't have room in your freezer. Some ice and water will do the trick. Now, we'll give this a little strain right in. Oh, look at that color. Wow. Now I'm gonna garnish this with some peaches. I have some fresh peaches that I found and cut up on a skewer. If you can't get fresh peaches, you know, if it's the winter time where they're not quite ready, you can always use canned peaches, get them in the juice instead of the syrup and just cut them up and put them on a little toothpick. Now, here's the best part. Things I do for my viewers. Let's give them a little taste. Mm. Wow. This is summertime in a glass. Everything is peach. Peach, peach, peach. But the orange juice and the tartness of the cranberry 
tone down the sweetness just enough so it's still nice and sweet, but it's a little more complex than just plain old sweetness. So, as always, we will have this recipe up on YouTube in the comments section, like always, and on our website. And remember, we'll see you again next Tuesday at 7 p.m. because you're all invited to come on over, come on in, and let's celebrate. Cheers.